So Sea Hardware version 10.9 is now released with the latest security patch and by the way it's not Android 15 yet. Android 15 is now in beta which is Sea Hardware 11.0 which is also coming very very soon and I'll make a video on that one as soon as I will get from my device. This is me 11x and this is just basic an overview of CR Droid version 10.9. The changes, the features definitely with the new security patch. We do not have any new thing because the major focus is right now on Android 15. The major difference or basically the thing which you get with version 10.9 with this latest security patch is just app updates. So for example, some of the apps which are pre-installed in this case, the music player, the gallery app, the pre-installed apps, those are just updates. Updated. There's no major difference with this latest update as compared to the previous update. We already have a lot of options available in this case. Some of the customizations are there. Some of the features are here. Definitely CR Android is a good custom room in the terms of features and customizations. So most of the features are, miss, uh, are actually available there. No options are missing in this case. Let's have a quick look at some of the things. For example, the default launcher. I found as far as I know the previous update too, we have some options in the home screen settings and that is at the bottom, you will see the Google bar, Google search bar customizations. You have this option named as stroke. So for example, if I choose the value 10, what this does is you will be able to notice this Google search bar is now having the stroke or basically monet stroke icon. You can compare it with basically monet stroke. A monet stroke is enabled basically you can say and yes definitely the UI seems better if you you can compare it with the Android 14 cell or basically you can compare it with the previous version of CR Android and you will definitely find a difference in that case. Unfortunately I do not have any other CR Android installed or basically I do not have any other device for now so that's why I will not be able to show you but you will definitely find a difference there as soon as you will get this on your device. If you take a look at the other options, things are basically similar in this case. Although the good thing is CR Android latest update, which is this one, which is 10.9, brings you almost every stable thing which you might expect because Android 15 is just around the corner. So Android 14 or with quite stability, you might expect that. This is the recent panel. Some of you might look into these kind of things. So this is here. We have some compact action design options available. Google lens we have screenshot option and the clear all option and of course definitely how much ram you have available also if you move on to the cr android settings you will find in the miscellaneous options we already have the same or similar kind of options as compared to previous update we do not have any major spoofing options available like we have in rising OS, we have in project matrix we have in rising OS matrix and evolution x OS and some of the other custom rooms but in this case, we already have only few of the spoofing options present. We also have the customized three finger swipe gestures available and in the terms of security and privacy options, the good thing is it's updated with the latest update. So we have app locker, which is present, which is working fine, definitely. And it also allows you to hide the apps. The good thing is it's available in this case. So for example, if you are not satisfied with the CR Droid launcher, you can also install pixel launcher to make circle to search work. And then the app locker still work for you, which is a very good thing. So you can install pixel launcher. You can use app locker. It also works by, I mean, you also have the option to hide the apps from the app drawer. Seems a very useful thing. Definitely in that scenario, CR Droid could be a very useful option for you. And by the way, it also supports cloning apps feature. So you can clone the apps, you can create a second instance of any app in case you want to. It's not exactly the same like parallel space. Parallel space which you have in Android 13 is a little bit different, but this one is cloning apps, which is of course not a bad deal. This is a good thing too. Or you can say with Android 15 that we have private space option. I mean, it's almost similar to that, but not exactly. Private space, in my personal opinion, is one of the best features ever with Android latest update. Other than else, this is about CR Android. We already have these kind of things available in the previous update too. If you wanna try it out on a device, you can, link is already there in the description for a lot of supported devices. CR Android actually supported for many, many of the Android devices. So definitely you could try this out and try out some custom home experience on your device. This is all, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Make sure to like this video. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.